right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset. Era. Woohoo! Yippee! All right. Yahoo! Welcome back to another installment of our Acoustic Week. That's right. This time we are bringing back channel favorites, Love, Love Bites. Bites. This one came from uh, a suggestion from our community page. I put it out there a couple days ago. Hey, we're thinking about doing an acoustic week, you know, of our mainstays that come to our channel, who's got some good acoustic versions. This isn't, I wouldn't call it acoustic, but I wouldn't call it electric either. This is a piano, uh, a piano arrangement with vocals. So we got Asami singing and Mayoka, Mayaka, Mayako. Mayako, Mayako. I'm hoping we're saying that correctly. Disclaimer, any mispronunciations of names, band names yes uh song titles we sincerely apologize for we mean no disrespect we yes. are japanese is not our is not a language we are well versed in we are <laughs> we are primarily english-speaking americans and... yes all right uh and i went on just mention on the last video we saw of love bites it was so we watched set the world on fire i made a comment about uh my yuck my yaka kind of seeming like she was kind of like blank in the face or whatever like she was concentrating I didn't know she was pregnant during that <laughs> so that, wow. that would probably make me feel a little like oh i'm uh <laughs> we did not know that no we did not so i apologize if that like uh offended anybody we were just commenting on how she seemed like it was just flawless like effortless you know it wasn't so much of a like she thought we were she was bored or anything it just looked like she didn't really need to pay attention really <laughs> she's just that good she is and we're about to see her talent here on the piano here uh, but yeah, so we're checking out Love Bites, Asami, and Mayakos doing Rising, I think is the name of the song. And yep, they're calling a, it acoustic. It's a, I think it's a, it, was, it was actually a stream. Like this, this video yeah. is, this video is from nine months ago, but yeah. uh, it was, yep, live streaming December 28th, 2020. Okay, so about three years ago. Yeah, good, you know, two and a half, three years ago. Okay, video's only got 28,000 uh, well, it's it's a uh, it's probably a, a fan channel. Not yeah. it's not from the uh, from the official channel. Right. From the official band channel. Couple <clears throat> comments in here. Two fantastic musicians. Two beautiful mothers. Also, they. So they so, they so they both have kids. Con congratulations to to the both of them. Yeah. Her voices and Mayako's Mayako's, Mayako's piano performance are the best. best. Very nice. I love piano. Well, there's two of them, so I'm glad they're mentioning both of them. I love piano, so I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, it should be good. What an outstanding performance of two so talented and beautiful ladies. I give, I give my, my private, private Grammy. My private Grammy. Here's my private Grammy. <laughs> that kind of sounds a little bit bad. Yeah. <laughs> or, I, love I think they mean uh, I give my personal Grammy. Yes, I get it. And the, gra the Grammy goes to Love Bites. There we go. I like the sound of that. <laughs> What can we say? They are the most magnificent band in the world. They put pain into songs. Well, any, any, uh, any emotion can be channeled into music, and yeah. it's a really good way to channel emotions. I agree wholeheartedly. I've used a lot of my misery to put it into songs. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I put plenty of my depression and anxiety and yeah. fear and regret into into poems and lyrics and music. Anger in there as well. Yeah, it's really good therapy. Yes. Just how come these ladies, along with the other love bites, aren't known worldwide anywhere near as much as they should should be or deserve to be? Question mark. I don't know. I think that they get plenty of love, especially on our channel. Yep. So uh, you know, I should they be bigger? Well, you could argue that, sure. But there's plenty of bands around the world that should be much much bigger than they yeah. are. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but I do think that they're doing pretty dang well for themselves. Also. One of the questions we asked in one of the last videos was uh, about their U.S. presence. Have they been here? The members have been here. The band has not. They were going to come here, and then COVID happened. Ah. Uh, so they're still trying to come over here. They're talking about a yeah, European... Travel, yeah, travel visas are tricky. Yeah. Well, they're talking about a European tour and a U.S. tour. So nice. So we might be seeing Love, Love Bites. Bites come to the States. So I Fingers know crossed. they'll probably sell out every show if they came here. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I would definitely go see them. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and jump into this one. Yep. For anybody at home who's tuning in so for Love Bites or any of our reactions for the very first time, welcome. Welcome to the channel. As a reminder, we do have mm -hmm. a Love Bites playlist. So if you haven't seen all the rest of our Love Bites reactions, make sure you go check out our Love Bites reactions playlist. It's be on our channel under playlists. Yep. 
And we're going to be picking all of these acoustic things from this week, all the acoustic reactions, putting in its own playlist as well. So if you're feeling in a mellow mood, go check out our acoustic playlist. All right. But if you are not new, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for the glorious, epic transition. All right. Without further ado, Love Bites, Asami and Mayako Rising. Rising. Acoustic or piano? Piano. Call that. Acoustic piano. Acoustic piano. Here we go. So uh, Asami's got quite a bit of power behind her, and as you can, as we know, you know, yeah. we've seen her just belt it in front of a, a huge rock band, which is the monster guitar players that are Love Bites. Yes. Here, what you're seeing is her really trying her best not to overshoot what she's singing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is another way I, I always point this out when I see good use of it, and you'll see that she's mic control. When she's got to belt it, she's pulling the mic back. Yep. When she's trying to, so when she's softening her tone, she's pulling the mic forward. Uh, unfortunately, there's no um, filter on the microphone, so her P's are popping the mic, and you hear that a little bit. But this is streamed, so yeah. sometimes streaming is just so difficult to get. I mean the, the camera. I mean the camera itself is shaky in some yeah. parts, but it's not it's, the best you know, production. Considering it's, it's a stream. Yes. You know, it was a you know but, that was done live there. Yeah. Considering the quality that it is. Yeah, it sounds you know, great. The control that she has. Yes. And how and just how amazing that piano She's, is. She plays it just like she plays the guitar. Just yeah masterfully so like, basically any complaints are going to be just technical in terms yeah, of yeah i'm not complaining know, the, the really camera. just pointing yeah, it just, out just to say you know showing that everyone no matter how like i would assume like i would call these these musicians like way above my level like it's i i have no no qualms of saying that she's probably better at piano than me and definitely better at guitar than me yes that, and i would never be able to sing the between way their she bass sings. player and me yeah. on bass guitar yeah she would definitely give me a run for my money yeah so we're not shortchanging them as musicians i just like to point out the things that we notice in the production along with the playing just interesting things that we think are cool yep that's it
<laughs> oh, she is killing it on the piano. She's like, all right, pay yourself. Zoom in. Yep. <laughs> Technical playing like that, or, yeah, or slower, you know, chord based. You it's know, just, it's, there's a, a it's a beautiful instrument. There's a difference between it's a beautiful musical instrument. It's a difference between like a guitar player that can play piano, yeah, to a true piano player, yeah. This is a true piano player, yes. You know, I I mean, some people, a lot of guy, a lot of people can like maybe him out a few basic, but the way she's playing right now. Mm-hmm. That takes some knowledge of knowing where those notes are, where the scales are, mm -hmm. what works and what doesn't work. And I would imagine a, a, a fair amount of this is improv. She probably knows the keys well enough. I mean, you, you you don't play up like that. And if that's the case, I think that reflects even better. Oh, yeah. You know, just Absolutely. following following the core rhythm or the core key and, and melody, yeah. but just adding adding in all the yeah adding in that improvisational it um, really aspect. does sound like it's improv it doesn't sound out of key but that that i know i know she knows her instrument i yes. i see her play guitar and the way that she plays guitar and we've seen her play piano and other the way stuff. she's playing piano yeah and, on yeah. the other songs we did as well but yeah she's definitely masterfully knows this this instrument it's not just a secondary thing to her and no, from what it, i understand yeah. i think she did start out on piano which Makes a whole lot of sense. Yep. Just as much a piano player as she is a guitar player. Exactly. Really not common when you see that. It's very, very rare. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful uh, occurrence. Exactly. So this sounds all, until she starts going up. I think it's because it was streamed, yeah. so it's not catching every lyric. Yeah, YouTube sub plus YouTube subtitles aren't always. Well, yeah, it's auto generated. Consistent. Yeah, but I can't. You guys have to tell us is is she singing entirely in English? Because it's kind of hard to make out some of the words. We're trying to follow the subtitles, and I get the you get lost, mm -hmm. and there's a couple other ones that she's singing. Where yeah, the subtitles. I think the subtitles are just as lost. Yeah, they're like uh, <laughs> because I know. Um, because their language isn't primarily English, yeah. Some of the mis the pronunciation that they may be having isn't really. I mean, she sings very well in English. Of course, I've heard her speak yeah. in English too. Yeah, it's just um, it's just having trouble like with the music, and since this yeah. was live streamed, you know, it's, it's not much of a shock that no. that the that the they can't catch it auto generated subtitles yeah. can't catch everything. Yeah. But it's cool. So let us know if this is all in English or what. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, streams. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, I 
love that. That is a piano player. That is... Yes. Oh, I like how they dim the clap, the lights out. Golf clap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pretty mellow, but very cool. Yeah. Not our t not our not our genre. Obviously, you know, if you guys have seen us, we really freak out on their thrashy stuff. But I really do appreciate a good arrangement. Uh, the p the piano itself could have carried like its own soundtrack. Like I could hear that piano in like any Hartfield scene in a movie. Yeah. And you would just be like, Oh my god, because <laughs> it, it it hits you really good. It like, does. It's really melancholy, uh, and then the lyrics and everything really play into that as well. So. What a great arrangement. What a great, uh, you know, with the content of what we could glean from the lyrics, I definitely think that both of those things kind of definitely collaborated together. You know, mm -hmm. the way the piano sound, what the lyrics were, and, the you know, the melody of what she's singing. I like that they got a little chance to shine a little bit. Uh, they, she could play a little bit more on the piano and kind of go up on the keys a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, um, Sami? Sami. Asami can really like hit those high pitches, pull that mic back, and just kind of belt it out a few times. Just as yeah. like, hey, I am in a metal band after all. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I loved it. That was really great, nice and mellow. Uh, so that was our reaction to Love Bites, uh, just that acoustic version of Rising. Rising. Yep. Uh, with just the piano. And rather the vocals. The, yep. I rather yeah, rather acoustic piano. Acoustic piano. Because there's electric pianos, obviously. I guess so. Yes. Yep. Just the two of them and. Yeah, beautiful. A beautiful piece of music. Yes, it was funny. It's funny to watch uh, Mayoko Mayako's uh, YouTube channel. I Mayako. watch it a little bit of, uh, here and there. It's it's primarily just it's not a lot of speaking. It's just like hey, I went here, and it's like a bunch of like snippets of places she goes, and she spends time with Asami. They're friends outside of the band. That's really cool. So they go and eat and stuff, and walk around and go shopping and stuff together, which is really interesting to see. Uh, but yeah, so she's got her own YouTube channel, so that's neat to watch. So in interesting to see someone who is so talented, uh, how they live their life, you yeah. know, and also because we're not Japanese, you know, what that Japanese culture is like. So when they yeah. go out, they zoom in on like all the snacks and stuff. I'm like, what is that? A sesame thing? It's like a whole different world. It is, man. It is. And it, I, it, I am utterly fascinated by yeah. it. Japanese you know, culture Japanese is amazing. Culture it's and, very cool, man. And the history of it all. Yes. We were also there, two thirds of the band. We That's just put right. out an album about five weeks ago called May 22nd. Yeah. A New Era, six new songs, yes. all original. Yes. Just shout out a music video not too long ago as well. That'll be popping at the end of this one. Uh, as I mentioned before, go check out our playlist for Love Bites in general and also our acoustic, love, our acoustic series. Uh, playlist which will be up shortly yep we're going the whole week doing acoustic yes so it'll be fun stick around if you like we're going to mellow out this week and then we'll go full full throttle next we'll week. be back yes we'll be back with the with the heavies yes but uh, i thought it was cool not it's a little themed week so i hope you guys are enjoying it make sure you subscribe and we have some shows coming up that's right thursday july 13th we're going to be with mommy's little monsters currently shut up dj ricky and green jelly mm -hmm. at ollie's pub records and beer in cape coral yep and we're going to be at Ollie's once more on that very Saturday, yes. the 15th, with Iris One and Chasing Airplanes. Yep. And then on the 28th, we'll be up in Tampa at the Born Free Pub and Grill with our friends in Social Infants, Wrath and the Wise Guys, Send All, and Cruel Curses. So make sure Say if that you're... Say times fast. Cruel Curses. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> But we will be up there in Tampa, so if you happen to be in the Tampa area, please come on out. We'd love to see you. Yep. Uh, but that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Cheers. Peace out.